Okay, Kyle, are you ready for your question of the day? Let's do it. What do you have to do to become a better fisherman? This is tough. This is tough. To become a better fisherman, you have to think about fishing at a more, at a higher level. You have to think about fishing more in depth. You have to always be trying to get better at fishing constantly. That's how you become a better fisherman. You know, you don't learn a new technique and all of a sudden you're a better fisherman. You don't learn, you know, and you don't go graph and find five or six more brush piles and become a better fisherman. You don't find a big school of a hundred fish on it and that make you a better fisherman. That's not how it works. And if you go out to your lake that you fish all the time, small little local lake, if you've got a small little local lake near you that you fish all the time and you run out there and you hit the same spots, you've got a milk run of stuff that you fish all the time, you're not improving. You're just kind of piggybacking off what you already know and trying to just ride that as far as you possibly can. And that's fine, especially in tournaments, you have to run the stuff that's good. But if you're out there fun fishing stuff, you have to always be trying to find new stuff, develop new ways to catch them, become more efficient, you know, figure out a new bait, a new technique, a new pattern, something different that's trying to figure out all the time to become a better fisherman. So to become a better fisherman, you have to be actively trying to improve mentally and physically at all times, you know, to understand the sport at a higher level and become a better bass fisherman. So it's my take on how to become a better bass fisherman or anything for that matter whatever you're doing in life you got to be actively thinking about improving all the time and seeing what you can do to get better to actually become better so that's how you become a better bass fisherman what what is your favorite lake and why favorite lake and why it's got to be a lake that has a little bit of everything a little bit of grass a little bit of rock some docks some laydowns it's got to have a diverse river system and then a lake part so they got to spawn good there let's see where has all of that what place has all that hunter champlain champlain does but i'm gonna say logan martin in alabama you can catch them anyway all the time it's just phenomenal i mean you can catch them every possible way that you want to try to catch them i mean one of the best swim jig bites happens over there. One of the best shallow water cranking bites. The best jerk bait bites. The best jig on dock bites. I mean, there's bed fishing is great over there. There's offshore fishing. You run up the river. Now you can you know, flip main river wood in current. You go down the lower end of the lake and there's a bunch of, you know, long point stuff. You can catch them offshore. So it's just like one of the best lakes I've ever been to as far as fishing everything. And you can always catch them shallow, which I love doing. And always have a potential to win, which I love doing. And there's so many two and a half pounders in that lake. is a ball. You go over there and you just catch like... 20 two and a half pounders like for real in a day it's ridiculous it's so much fun favorite lake logan martin what's up what up we are on the way to sonic to get ice cream ice cream for me so look let me take break it down for y'all okay after a hard day's work i like to get me a nice ice cream and i woke up this morning he hasn't done anything and i put today, hold so. on hold on what i put a, do? i put an entire coat of epoxy on a rod, six foot nine rod, so shorter than normal. Didn't it took take, like five minutes. It took like, it took like three, two or three minutes for real. But after hard work like that, you gotta get you a treat. You gotta go relax, man. You gotta enjoy life after working extremely hard all day. So, just for the record, he's gotten ice cream like the last week in a row and hasn't had any hard work done. I've been working hard every day. I've been what doing have you stuff. Do? Every what have you been doing? Day. I've been playing poker. I've been daggum putting epoxy on my rods. I've been chilling. This is the first rod you've built. Count it. Count it. That's all Count it. One. one. Also, about we, more though. we think we've came up with a way that we can give the rod away. Okay. What's the rod giveaway? Are you going to say it or me? You're going to say it. You're going to tell them what's up. Hunter came up with the, with the idea. We'll see if people like it or not. Okay. So, everybody that wants to be entered in the rod giveaway has to send in a video to KDUB rkw at gmail.com any kind of a tip video um, and yeah it'd a be positive video any kind of video that you want to put in there that's positive just a life tip a fishing tip whatever spreading positivity trying to make people better at stuff anything like that is welcomed and will make you eligible for the ride and we're going to do we're going to take the best tips and stuff that we find no matter what it's pertaining to and we're going to put it all in one video post it on the channel all of y'all will be on the channel 
and then you also be eligible for a ride if you see in anything at all. So, but make sure. You also sure, need to be subscribed to the channel. Yep, subscribe to the channel. Make sure your phone is in widescreen mode. Like so, this way. Yep, whatever you, you film, this way. don't have your ride up. Your have rod. your ride. <laughs> don't have your phone up. Have it to the side. That'll make for a better YouTube video. So, if y'all want to be a part of that, that'd be awesome. Anybody wants to send in a video, that'd be so cool. I think it'd be awesome to get the subscribers and people that watch my channel, give them an opportunity to put their face on a YouTube video. I think that'd be awesome. So, if y'all are receptive to that idea and think y'all like that idea, you know, go ahead and send it in to my email, kdubrkw at gmail.com. Let me know if, if everybody's like, nah, we hate that concept. Yeah. We hate doing that. We will take that away and change that, you know, but. Hopefully, people will be receptive to that idea and want to do that. So, be a pretty cool video for sure. But I'm going to give me ice cream. We'll see y'all. If you're running low on Christmas ornaments, you can always just lean a, a couple of point blank rods up against the Christmas tree. And it makes for a great decor. Make sure the wraps on your rod match the decorations of the Christmas tree. That's the important part. They do. Look. It has right. to be red. I wouldn't have laid blue rods up there on that tree because that don't make no sense. Red on red. That's it. Ah, they're one, falling. Someone will break a rod in half. <laughs> then we'll have twice as many ornaments. That's all that matters. Kyle's over here. Eating ice cream. Eating ice cream because he's a fatty. Oh, that's not good. What you doing? I am putting a guide on a rod. Dug on blanket ladder fell, almost knocked me in the head. But we're still getting it together. One side of the guide. This is a Fuji reverse double foot. <clears throat> Pretty interesting guide. Looks a lot different than most guides do. I put it on every single rod. Focus. Put that exact guide on every single rod. It's oh, a, there it is. It's a lot different. It looks like it's put on backwards, but it's not. You can actually see by the slope that it has like this on the front side. That's the way the guide is supposed to go because all guides are tilted towards the front going through the entrance. So that's how it's supposed to look. It's elevated off the rod blank. So whenever the natural angle from the reel, the line comes through the, the middle of the guide, the, the line is actually free floating in the middle of the guide and the guide does not make any pinch point at all. That's why that guide's a little bit taller. So it doesn't pull that guide down. A lot of micro guide rods, they have like a very small guide right here and you'll actually see that line being pulled down towards the blank and that just creates a pinch point that is not good for casting distance and, and accuracy or anything like that and also bad for sensitivity so you just don't want any pinch points on your rod you want your line to be as free flowing as it can possibly be to maximize your cast obviously all right guys appreciate you guys watching that video probably one of the most boring videos on the channel but you got to see kind of what we do on a on an off day for sure got a rod right there drying Appreciate y'all guys watching. 50% of y'all are not subscribed, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Turn the bell on so you get alerted for every single video we've got. We're going to look into doing the ride, ride giveaway in a couple of weeks. As soon as I can get the stuff, I'm, you know, we're going to pick somebody to win, and then I have to ask you what you want, order the stuff, and then build it custom for you, however you want it done. So be on the lookout for that. I appreciate it, guys, and we'll see y'all in the next one.